Good morning, my name is Wendell Boucher. The title of this video is Calculating Transformer K Coupling Coefficients Using Inductance Measurements. The following scenario is quite real and often repeated, especially in America. We have a transformer in our hand that has two or more windings on it. However, we did not design or wind it. That task was performed elsewhere and we have no access to the design details. This is often the case when power supplies and their components are both designed and manufactured offshore. Upon testing these power supplies related order to our specifications, we find some real operational problems. Problems of the kind that are best solved by modeling the hardware using a simulation tool like LT Spice, which is free and very popular. One of the power supply components is the high frequency power transformer. Now if we have access to the two terminals of every winding on the transformer, then we can measure the self-inductance of each winding and also the series aiding and series bucking inductances of any two windings as well. These four inductance measurements are all we need to calculate the required coefficient k-coupling coefficients for each transformer winding pair that circuit analysis programs like LT SPICE require to model transformers and electrical circuits. We will now show how to calculate these k-coupling coefficients and use them in a typical LT SPICE program which simulates a two-switch forward converter. But please note that although we used a two-switch forward converter example, the work shown here is applicable to any transformer design used in any converter topology. Now the simplest transformer is one with two windings shown here. If you look at this, it's important if your winding leads have no identification numbers, then please number them yourself, starting with number one, so you can identify each winding and its inductance label, like L1, L2, in this case, and in other cases L1, L2, L3, L4, and so forth. Now these are the steps that you go through to make the measurements. Follow them very carefully. Write down the numbers when you're asked to do that. Write down the values of L1, the value of L2 as well. And then take the, those numbers that you've measured, inductance values you've measured, plug them into this equation, series aiding inductance, series bucking inductance, defined here and here self-inductance is L1 and L2 for this case. Execute this equation and the answer will be K12 which is a K coupling factor for this transformer. Now here's a almost the same transformer except now we have a third winding on it. winding L1, winding L2, winding L3, and here are the equations for solving for K12, K13, and K23. In other words, coupling these two, coupling these two, and then coupling these two. Now, <coughs> showed exactly what you do for this transform on the second page. We've shown you this one exactly. We're not going to show you this one exactly, but we're going to show, show you what the LT SPICE directives are that you would type. In this case, it's just K12, L1, L2, and then you put a value over here when you've calculated it. For this transform, you need three of them. And with this transform, it has four windings, one, two, three, four you need to calculate all of the, these K coupling factors here 
and here, here's what you would type. I doubt whether you'll see a transform it more complicated than this. Now the polarity dots we're showing here and here are shown over here as you connect the self-inductances L1, L2, L1, L2 again, aiding, bucking, L1, L3, aiding, bucking, L2, L3, aiding and bucking. And you can see we know this polarity dot because we've assigned it. We don't know this one, but we can see it's on terminal 3, still on terminal 3, terminal 5, terminal 5, terminal 5, terminal 5 again. That's relationship between the polarity dots and the inductances you measure, your series Ian and series bucking. Now, if you're someone who winds your own transformers and designs them, first you design them, then you wind them, or have them wound to your specifications, you will know the leakage inductance value. The leakage inductance value for this transformer is 10 microhand, and it's called LLP for leakage inductance referred to the primary. All you need to know is this number, which you can measure readily, this number which you've calculated. You would calculate K12. You can see it's the square root of 1 minus LLP over LP, where LLP is this number, LP is this number. Here's the actual calculations. You can see it rounded to four places. It's 0.9535. That's a coupling coefficient. You can also solve for the leakage inductance if you know the coupling coefficient and LP. And here it is here. It's almost 10. The reason it's not exactly 10 because this number has been rounded off to four places. Now we're going to show you a MathCAD program where these calculations are made both ways. This is calculating K12 using LLP and LP as I just showed you a moment ago. You can see the answer is 0.9535 rounded off to four places. Here we do it using the series aiding and series bucket method. When we're all done doing it you can see that the answer is 0.9535 exactly the same answer as we have here. Okay. Is where we were. <coughs> I'm going to show you. I just saw it just a moment ago. Here's the LT Spice program. This program was not created for this particular video. It was done for another video. But here we do have a transformer you can look at. It's right here. There's a two switch forward converter. Power in here, power out here. I'll expand this. So we can see the transformer better. There we go. You can see the primary or L1 has a value of 100 microhenry. The secondary L2 has an induction of 49 microhenry. And here's the K coupling directive that you type. K12, L1, L2. And here's the coupling coefficient right here for this particular transformer. Okay. Now, <coughs> you might be interested in looking at this paper. It was written by Bryce Hesterman. He did a very good job. It covers a lot of aspects of transformer design. And Mr. Hesterman covers the series aiding and series bucking equation development quite thoroughly his technical paper above. And the information is on slides number 
13 through 19. I'm going to show you this for a reason I'll explain in just a moment. Below are six of my technical videos, and of course they relate to the design of switch mode converters and their magnetic components. These are the titles in red, by the way. If you want to look at any of these videos, if you haven't seen them before, just type this red sentence, if you will while you're reviewing YouTube. These are YouTube videos. And here are the other four. Hold it here for a minute so you can copy it. And finally, this is an important message to all whom have viewed my video listed above. The contact information shown on my previous technical videos is no longer valid, for I have purchased my retirement home in the quaint little town of Wise, Virginia, where I now live with my beautiful wife, whom I have been happily married to for 53 years and known for 58 years. So from now on, <coughs> this is what's important, I will list my current cell phone number in the description section of this and all subsequent videos and not in the videos themselves. The phone numbers you see in the past videos I've done are simply incorrect because my phone number has changed so many times. I look forward to hearing from you viewers comments, questions, and in particular suggested topics you would wish me to address in future videos, otherwise I'll select them myself. So please contact me using this email, wendell.boucher at gmail.com. Best regards to you all. Bye for now.